Old toys provide great memories. Some of them are really simple, like a wooden ball, a stick, and a plastic cup. Some of them are extremely dangerous, like this toy iron. You plug it in and it gets hot. What? Are you kidding me? Don't. Over the past three years, I've made five toy videos. Now, unlike a lot of other toy videos that just show you pictures and talk about the games, I've got the toys here, like this board game. This was one of my favorite games for a long period of time. It's called Stratego. Stratego! It's Stratego, Milton Bradley's terrific game of strategy for two. Most older board games had the instructions printed on the inside of the cover. That was always convenient. Stratego is a game for two players on a board of 10 squares by 10 squares. You start by setting up your 40 pieces on the back four rows. You can place any piece anywhere, but you do need to think offensively and defensively to protect your flag. The objective of the game is to find and capture the opponent's flag, or to capture so many pieces that the opponent can't even make any further moves. Each player controls 40 pieces, representing individual officer and soldier ranks in the army. The pieces that don't move are flags and bombs. If any piece has a number on it, the lower number is the most powerful, such as number one, which is the marshal. The marshal can capture any other numbered piece. Then there's the spy. The spy is the only piece that can capture the marshal. All the ranking pieces can move forward, backwards, left, and right. There's a few other rules, but it's really a pretty simple game to learn, and it's quite a lot of fun. But this game reminds me of another two-person board game that's my favorite game of all time. Now, in all my toy videos, I've never really stated my favorite game. So while you're thinking about that, let's first talk about a very dangerous toy. At the beginning of this video, I showed you a toy iron. Now, this thing is actually marketed for kids, and it says, just like mothers. You've got to get a closer look at this. This thing is solid. It has a nice painted wood handle. The iron itself is metal. It heats up to a little over 125 degrees Fahrenheit, which is somewhere between first degree and second degree burns. But even worse than getting hot is this wire and plug. The wire is cloth. The ungrounded plug has this protective cover, except for the fact that it's not really protecting anything. It can be removed with just a fingernail, exposing the dangerous 120 volt wires and screws. I don't even know what to say here. You tried your best and you failed miserably. Thank you, Homer. Now here's a fun game called Booby Trap. Let me show you how this is played. This one dates back to the mid 1960s. The object of the game is to get as many points as possible. The player with the most points at the end is the winner. Start by pulling back the spring bar and place the three different sizes of wood pieces facing up in the front section of the board. Assign each piece a point value. It can be one, two, or three. It can be five, 10, or 20. Two or more players take turns going around the board, removing one piece at a time. If the spring bar moves over one quarter of an inch based on the markings on the side, you get penalized. Deduct the point value of the piece you attempted to remove. The play continues like this until there's as many pieces on the board as there are the number of players. The player with the most points is the winner. Here's another extremely simple toy that kept us busy as kids. We didn't need screens. We didn't have to have electronic gadgets. Something like this kept us busy for a long time. It's a simple animal that has string running through it connected to a button at the bottom. And you press the button and the animal collapses. You release the button and he stands up again. Simple. But things like that entertained us. Now here's a simple game. Pick up sticks. You drop some plastic sticks you pick them up. <laughs> there are some rules though. This one in particular was purchased at a store called Turnstile. Back in the day, that was like Kmart. The price tag, 24 cents. Let me show you how to play. In researching this game, I discovered different versions. There are various rules as well as different colored sticks between the games. The game begins when one person gathers the sticks together and drops them on a table. Players take turns picking up the sticks one at a time. If you pick them up in a specific order, you can get bonus points. 
The only stick that you can move is the one you're touching. There is one black stick, which you can use to lift the other sticks. There's a couple of other rules, but that's the gist. And now for another dangerous toy, lead soldiers. I remember this story that my dad told me. When he was a kid, he and his friends used to melt down lead and pour it into these metal soldier molds. When it cooled off, they would bite off the excess with their teeth and then they'd be left with their toy soldiers. I was at a friend's house recently and he had one of these molds and I wanted to relive the experience that my dad had. Well, except maybe the part of biting off the excess. But anyway, here's how that went. When you separate the two halves of the mold, you can get an idea of what the soldiers look like. For the lead, I'm using these old lead pellets from a BB gun and this cast iron ladle to melt the lead in. It took a little practice, but I soon learned that I needed not only to just melt the lead, but the ladle needed to be heated as well. This whole fixture needs to be extremely hot because when you pour it, it can cool off quickly. The lead needs to be as hot as possible so that it flows into the crevices of the mold. After a couple minutes, the lead is cool enough to separate the mold halves. When it cools off to the touch, you can remove the excess bits and file the edges smooth. Giving the lead a protective coat of paint is probably a good idea. Chess. Boring. This is the one game that I've played the most in my lifetime. In fact, I've played chess once a week over my lunch break with the same guy at work year after year for the past 28 years. His name is Dick. He's one of my first YouTube subscribers and he's the first viewer on each of my Sunday videos. So shout out to Dick Readerer. But I don't just play regular, long, boring, drawn out games of chess. We play speed chess. We use this clock to speed up the games. We set each person's clock for five minutes. After you make your move, you hit the clock. The other person has to make moves quick before their clock falls. The game's over when either a king gets captured or someone's clock falls. It helps speed up the games immensely. We end up playing about six games over our lunch break. It's a lot of fun, and so chess is my favorite game of all time. Now here's a game from the early 1960s. It actually dates all the way back to the 1800s. It's a backgammon game of India called Parcheesi. Do you have games when you were a kid that were very popular but you never played them? They never appealed to you? Well, that's Parcheesi for me. I don't know how to play it, I probably never will. But if you have games like that, please share them with us, put it in the comments below. And thanks for watching Alley Picked. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.